Well, I've got news for you. Sweet potatoes are not just for Thanksgiving. So today I am going to make them the quick and easy way, uh, Instant Pot mashed sweet potatoes. And make sure you stay tuned because I've got a free PDF download I'm gonna tell you about full of Instant Pot recipes. Welcome to the Spicy Apron Cooking Show. My name is Heather and I am here today to show you quick and easy Instant Pot mashed sweet potatoes. I am the author of two Instant Pot authorized cookbooks. I'll put links to those below if you wanna check those out. Today's recipe is very, very quick and easy. Instant Pot mashed sweet potatoes. Now what you wanna do, this is about three, believe it or not, that is three large sweet potatoes. Uh, if yours are a little bit smaller, you might wanna get four. You just simply peel them and cut them into chunks about this big. So once you've done that, go ahead and dump them into your Instant Pot. There are just not a lot of ingredients here because honestly, sweet potatoes, they have so much flavor, you just don't need to add a whole bunch. Now, you do need liquid in order for it to come to pressure. You can either use chicken broth, which I'm doing here, or vegetable broth, or you can also use water. Um, this just adds a little bit of an extra layer of flavor. Also important to note how much I'm putting in. Three-fourths of a cup of liquid, that is in my six-quart Instant Pot. Um, if you have the eight quart, you might wanna bump that up just a little bit. The goal here is to have these no drain sweet potatoes. So you don't even have to drain them to, before you smash them at the end. So you wanna use as little liquid as possible, but that still allows it to come to pressure. Now the full recipe link is below. Um, I am doing a savory version of these sweet potatoes because of course the potatoes have their own sweetness. And then I am simply adding some thyme, some rosemary, and a little bit of nutmeg to give it that uh, savory earthy taste. If you prefer a sweet version, then instead of those herbs, go ahead and add a quarter cup of brown sugar and just a little bit of salt and of course some fresh ground pepper. Now all you're gonna to wanna to do is pressure cook it on high for seven minutes and then release the pressure immediately. Don't forget to turn your valve to sealing before you hit pressure cook. So this just needs a little bit of time to come to pressure, then it'll cook seven minutes and then we're gonna smash them and finish it up. Okay, smells fabulous. Let's see how it looks. Okay, one of the things that's important to do is you do wanna test, <laughs> let me put that down. You do wanna test the potatoes to make sure they're soft enough to smash. Sometimes if the sweet potatoes are a little bit old, then they don't get cooked as well. And these actually are a little bit firm. So I am going to put it back in two more minutes. They should be perfect. And this is something that's really important to understand about your Instant Pot or other pressure cooker is that if the food's not quite done the way you want it, just put the lid back on and bring it to pressure again and cook it a little bit more. It really doesn't take very long because everything else is already warm in there, but it's okay to do that. A lot of people think, oh, once it's done and the lid's off, that is all she wrote. And that is not the case. This is a perfect example. The potatoes were a little bit underdone. Two more minutes, big deal. We're gonna check them in a couple, but don't forget to turn the valve back to sealing when you do that. And since we have two extra minutes, no, I'm not gonna make you wait the whole two minutes, but I wanna tell you about that free PDF download that I have. There's a link to it below. It is my top 10 Instant Pot recipes handout. Uh, just click the link and it'll go directly to your inbox. And see, that took almost no time to come to pressure. Okay, take two. Yes, they definitely do look softer. Let me grab the fork just to make sure. Yeah, these are very soft. If you can see that from the camera, I just am barely putting my fork in it and they're falling apart. That is exactly how you want them to be. Now, the other thing I want you to see in here, I'm gonna try to get out of the way. Do you see the amount of liquid in the bottom? It's about maybe, I'll call that a quarter of an inch of liquid. That is perfect because you don't need to drain it. You're gonna want them to, when you mash it, it'll keep the sweet potatoes nice and moist. Um, but you don't have to bother draining. So bingo, it worked. Uh, now let's do the rest. Um, here is another little secret. I also talk about the secret in my um, Instant Pot mashed red potatoes up there. 
That's even easier because you don't have to peel anything. What you wanna do is get four tablespoons of butter and just spread them around and then also a quarter cup of heavy cream because you do want it nice and creamy. Now, what you wanna do is put it in there and then just let it warm up a little bit before you mash everything together. So all I do is I put the lid back on and just let it sit for a couple of minutes to get nice and warm and soft. So then when I mash them, everything will be done. Okay, I probably only gave it a minute, but look, the butter is all melty. The cream is warm. Uh, now, my you guys should know this by now, my favorite tool, my potato masher. We're just gonna go ahead and mash it and all that liquid is gonna get absorbed in those potatoes. And then that's it. Now, obviously I like to use my potato masher because I like to have little chunks in it. That way you know these are homemade. But if you really like them whipped and light and fluffy, you absolutely can just use your hand mixer and do it directly in your Instant Pot as long as you are using your stainless steel inner pot. Do not do your hand mixer if you are using your nonstick inner pot. All right, you guys, look at this consistency. They're perfect. I like them a little bit chunky like that. They are absolutely perfect. No draining required. This is so easy. These are almost too easy to make. I'm telling you, people will just be wowed by this recipe and it takes basically no effort. So let me just scoop it up so you can see. And then of course, my favorite part of the whole entire video, tasting it. Yeah, I can smell the savory herbs that I put in there. Again, certainly you can make them sweeter if you would prefer that. And I would love to know what do you serve with your sweet potatoes? For me, these go so well with any kind of pork, any kind. Yep, buttery, creamy, savory, with just enough sweetness. That is what mashed sweet potatoes are all about. And seriously, don't wait till Thanksgiving to make them. They're super easy and actually pretty healthy. Thank you for watching the Spicy Apron cooking show. Happy cooking and happy eating. Mm-hmm. Mm.